Hello, beloved, and welcome to your message from God Thyself, okay, the big G-O-D. I am Prophetic Vessel. Welcome to the Prophetic Vessel Show. Thank you for tapping in. Let's find out why you were led here. Why did you resonate with the title? Why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Okay, let's tap in. If you are keen or interested in booking me for reading, or a one-on-one -on -one session. I offer spiritual path readings, love readings, and I offer messages from God, okay? And for the one-on-one -on -one sessions, I offer those via Skype, Zoom call, and FaceTime. Let's begin. That's if you're interested. Talk to us, God, please. Okay. Okay, we have the devil here. This is Capricorn energy. We have the fool. Okay. So this is Aries energy. All this blue here, but it's different elements. We have death card. Here we have the death and rebirth. We have the higher fund. These are all major corners. Like, what the hell? These are all big cards. These are all the majors in the deck. So with the devil here, Capricorn, the fool, Aries, death and rebirth, Scorpio, the Hierophant, Taurus. Wow. These are powerful energies, beloved. Hmm. What I feel like is happening here is there are people here looking at you as somewhat of a lesson people who have crossed your path of life and wronged you and deceived you they're now looking at you as a lesson these are the type of people that are prone to fear based thoughts and analogies when it comes to you they know nothing about good things when it comes to you all they do is compare you to the, these monstrous energies or thoughts or these monstrous entities or these monster monstrous conversations that they have because these are people that never understood you and people fear what they do not understand beloved people really fear what they do not understand so what i feel like what's happening is i feel like god was protecting you by making these people misunderstand you so that they don't have you the way they want you so that they don't figure you out because if they had figured you out, they, they would have utilized all that information or all that they had figured out about you against you. Used it to have power over you. You see what I'm saying? So God protected you by, allow, by making people misunderstand you and continuously putting you in that situation to be misunderstood. Because it was better than you being figured out. You being figured out would have cost you your life, would have been a threat or would have been dangerous in your reality back then because you were surrounded by predators vultures and people who wanted nothing for you but for themselves alone okay they just wanted to serve themselves and through you they wanted to do this however way your energy was was manipulated people this this energetic manipulation is lies formulated by others telling people about you like this and that and the third let me tell you about this person like one two three and all all that they're saying is lies lies is a form of manipulation lies is a form of manipulating energy because you are using a form of 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 manipulation by taking the words and bending them and making them untrue but utilizing the truth to do so it's like Maybe, let's say an example, a married woman, right, is wanted by a single man who won't leave her alone and she keeps telling him, yo, I'm married. So this is an analogy, a reference point, a case study, 
an example that I'm using for this for this message of yours, okay? This woman keeps telling this man that she's married, but this man doesn't want to listen. So he tells the husband that she slept with him, right? That he slept with his wife and, you know, just to use the fact that she's married against him, against her. Like, yeah, if I do this, if I say this, he'll leave you. You know, it's, it's, it's those extents of lies. It's not nothing minuscule. God is saying that the lies that were placed upon your life were big. That's why these are all major arcanas. It's like big lies, life-threatening lies, dangerous lies. It's like nothing good about lies, right? But lies can become dangerous when they're manipulated on a, on a heavy extent or on a high level of consciousness or when they're manipulated in a way to bring someone else down, they can really fuck someone else up their life. They can really mess up someone's life. Someone can, can truly lose themselves in all of this if they were not protected. If you were not protected, these people would be successful or would have been successful in all of this. But I feel like they weren't successful because you've always been protected. You've always walked with God. You've always had your ancestors by your side. Protection is nothing new to you. I just feel like you've entered a season in your life where God is proving to you how protected you are. God is proving your protection to you. Like, yeah, this is how protected you are. Yes, you were attacked like this, but I protected you. This is how protected you are. This is the extent of protection that is upon your life. Okay, beloved? So that's beautiful stuff here. Thank God. Thank your ancestors, okay? For always protecting you. And big ups to you for having a good heart to earn this sort of protection. Not being toxic, not being a bad person, and not sending negative energy to people. You know, even if they send it to you, you're powerful enough to not need to do that to feel fulfilled. You don't need to be a bad person to another person to feel powerful or fulfilled. You're already better within yourself. You already have that power within yourself. And I feel like you are able to exist in that realm. Other people haven't. Other people don't have that capacity, that spiritual capacity to maintain that within themselves. They need things, people, substances for that, to feed that illusion, which I feel like you don't need. You don't need to be filled up. You are filled up already. Okay? And I feel like these are people that don't want to learn from you. Again, judgments. This is another major arcana, guys. Like, come on, man. This is big shit. I feel like... What God is doing in your life is big shit, beloved. Like, big news, man. Excuse the cousin, but this is big news. This is big stuff here. Because I feel like what has happened is God is, is completely putting you in a different circumstance. Completely shifting the trajectory of your life. Leaving everyone astonished. Like, But that's not where he was or where she was this and this months ago, five months ago. That's not what was happening in her or his life five months ago. How did all of this happen? Where did they get this? All these unexplainable questions that people have upon your life, upon, upon your life, beloved. It's, it's because of what God is doing for you. Behind the scenes, you might not know, you might not even be aware, you might not be conscious, you might not see it. But it's impacting a lot of people negatively because they're used to you being down and out or they're used to to you not having any way out of something like it was easy for you to be and it was easy when you were unhealed it was easy for them to manipulate you but now that you're not unhealed all they can do is kind of just sit in the energy of wanting to manipulate you these are the people that are still sitting in the energy of wanting to see you in a particular light Wanting to put you in a particular circumstance. Like people that are not okay with their life. And because they're not okay with their life, they, they, they envy yours. And they feel like you should not feel okay with your life as well. You should feel scared. Um, you should feel traumatized. You should feel trapped all the time. But I feel like, why would, it's like God is saying, why would I allow you to live based on other people's projections on your life? Like, just let that sink in for a minute. Why would God allow you to exist in a paradigm that other people are creating for you? Like they, they want you to be like this, but God wants you to be filled. 
in spirit okay god doesn't want you to be like these people in your reality that you see that are unstable emotionally mentally here people that lack moral virtue people that have no direction people that are lost i feel that god wants to make you an example for the lost more than anything god wants nothing to do with you being lost god wants to make you an example for the lost okay so that's why god i feel like is going to put you in control here however way this goes for your reality you're about to have control um and i feel like this control is going to bring you to a new paradigm of life you're going to feel different like everything is going to be different like <laughs> you're going to really feel like okay you know what god i feel i i, I know you real i know it i know it. i don't know you feel it i don't only really understand it i don't only really have faith about it i know it because it can only be god that's what this is is giving right this is this is what this energy is giving this is what's coming things that happen and you like it's unexplainable and you go like you know what it can only be god that does this or did this for me you know again beloved your prayers here back to your prayers your prayers are very powerful you have no idea like you have no idea and i feel like god wants to take you away from all the doubts that you once had about him like it's sort of like all the people that once kept you in a position yeah ace of pentacles here and the um emperor reversed it's like people that wanted you to not see your power so that they feed off of it. By feeding off of your essence, your energy, your, 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 your ideas, your thoughts, your own, your own identity here. Lying about you to others to base their life on your life or base their persona on your identity or your character. It's like crazy things here. Crazy things. But I feel like what God wants to do, God wants to shift the trajectory of your life and place you in a different circumstance so that you never really look back at your past as anything outside of power it's no longer painful it's powerful because of what he has done thyself god thyself how god has transformed your reality how god has changed the narrative of it as well you know now everybody's looking at you shocked, you know, unable to even process everything or what has happened to you or in your life. Your evolution here is shocking many. A lot of people don't know how to feel about it. A lot of people don't even know how to come at you anymore or how to approach you anymore because you just fall out of reach. You are no longer in alignment with them and they can no longer do anything about that. So I feel like these are people that are just sitting in those emotions that I wish I could do this, I wish I could do that, but yeah, it'll forever remain wishful thinking because I feel like what God has in store for you is something far more, far more of a grand design than these people can imagine. So if they trip it now, if they tweak it now, man, only time can tell, man. Because this, I feel like what God is about to do is about to be heavy because i feel like the the underestimation that was placed upon your life by people was heavy as well people never believing in you or never believing that you could do what you do or you can be who you are or people are placing fears upon your plans you know because they don't want to see you in that position but i feel like what god is doing is god is showing these people that whether or not they want to see you in that position whether or not they want to see you in this light that is who you are and there is nothing absolutely absolutely no one can do anything about this okay absolutely no one so these people behind the scenes feeling this way about you man it is what it is okay it is what it is they just have to lay in the bed that they made you are no one's fool you are no one's um punching bag you are no one's outlets you are no one's um leech here you're not you are not you are no one's uh bank here that they can just take and take and take and leave cast out you know what i'm saying 
whether it's energetically, whether it's through favors, whether it's through your, your anointing, whether it's your identity. It's like no more that. God is saying, yo, no more that. God wants to put you in a, diff in a different position. It's like respect this person. You know, God wants you to be respected because all the things that you've tolerated and put up with, all the things that you've been through, all the things that you've let slide are nothing small. It's like deep things that you keep to yourself, but God has seen everything and God wants to reward you for your graceful exits in people's lives. How you can just gracefully leave someone alone, not wanting to cause any burdens or trauma to anyone. How you can gracefully just want to depart they're the ones that are holding on they're the ones that want to leech onto you they're the ones that need your light you are of the light already you don't need them you don't need them beloved okay they need you and that's how it's always been look back at your family look back at your old friends look back at old uh lovers here they fed off of you man they were fed by your spirit your anointing you're too powerful to ever look down on yourself like that. Ever. Okay? I'm going to leave it like this. I'm being called to leave your message here. This was your message from the big G-O-D, God Thyself. If you're keen, beloved, on booking me for a message or one-on-one -on -one session, I offer personal readings, um, which are general readings. Okay, whatever comes out. I offer love readings. I offer messages from God. And I offer spiritual path readings as well. And for one-on-one -on -one sessions, I offer those via FaceTime, Zoom call, as well as Skype. I'm sending you nothing but love. I really hope this helped you and brought you closure to your spirit. In Jesus' name, I release your spirit. Amen.